not a sin to look at your neighbor's dog. What is a sin, Father? A sin is something that you did wrong, that was bad. Like when I stole my sister's Barbies and played with them? That, that would be a good one, yes. I, I'm going to do it again. That, then you're not truthfully sorry, son. You have to be sorry to confess your sins. I want to play with you. <laughs> I just want to play with them. Well, I can't absolve your sins, son, if you don't, if you're not sorry for them. Hi, I'm Troy McClure. You might remember me from such educational films on how to receive the Eucharist and destination marriage. But today I'm here to teach you and young Billy about Confession 101. Hi class and welcome to Confession 101. Today you're here to learn how to go to confession. When going to confession, you might be worried about your mom might find out all the bad things you've done. So you, need, you don't need to worry about that because your sin is kept between you and the priest. You won't ever have to worry about your mom finding out you stole that cookie from the cookie jar. Nothing, something else to worry about is the venial versus mortal sin. When going to confession, you need to worry about mortal sin. Mortal sins are the very big bad sins you've committed. You don't have to worry about venial sins, because venial sins are forgiven through the penitential rite in Mass. You also need to be sorry for your sins. The priest cannot absolve your sins if you are not truly sorry for what you have done. Mr. McClure! Why do I get ready for confession? Very good question, Billy. Here's how. You need to go through an examination of conscience. This is a set of questions you focus on to help you prepare for the confession so you know what sins to confess. Some questions that might be considered on the examination of conscience is, have you ever disobeyed your father? Or when was the last time you have lied? Mr. McClure, why do I need to go to confession? Yes, Billy, you need to go to confession to receive the Eucharist. You cannot receive the Eucharist if you have mortal sins on your soul. If you have mortal sins on your soul, then it's even a bigger mortal sin to receive the Eucharist. You also need to go to con confession to cleanse your soul. Do you need to have a clean soul to go to heaven? If you don't have a clean soul, you will never be able to go to heaven. And also, you need to have a good relationship with God. Without a clean soul, you can't have that strong relationship with God. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. How long has it been since your last confession? This is my first real confession. Okay. I lied to my mother. I lied to my grandmother. I lied to Pooh Bear. I stole a brownie. I stole another brownie. I said mean word to Carl. I went to the zoo and let all the animals out. And I purposely broke up my mom and dad so I could have two Christmases. Then I went to a football game and ran on the field 